to Songs and Stories with Oxford County Library. My name is Holly and I'm the Literacy and Innovation Specialist at Tilsonburg Branch. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we're going to sing some songs and read a book about how much we love libraries. Saturday, this Saturday, February 5th is Take Your Child to the Library Day. So we hope that you'll come join us and visit us and pick up some good books or put some books on hold online to read with your children. Please be sure to check branch hours before you go out in the snow. Let's start with our hello song. Now if you've been watching for the previous weeks, you'll know that we're starting to incorporate some American Sign Language or ASL into our hello and goodbye song. Do you remember the sign for friends? Hmm. You're going to take one finger, two fingers, and you're going to put them together like they're giving a hug for friends. The other important sign for us to know is hello. You're going to do a salute out from your forehead to say hello. Let's sing together. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. I'm going to sing a song and you can do the movements with me or sing it with me if you know it. It's the more we get together. But the second verse, we're going to change it a little bit to be more library friendly. For this song, I'm going to show you the sign for together. You're going to take two fists and put them together. And then when we're using the word together as we're all together, you're going to take your two fists and you're going to do a stir like this. Like you're stirring the batter of a really big cake. Together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now we're gonna read together. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. We read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Let's go over to Jenna and see what she's going to read today. Hi everybody, my name is Jenna and I'm a public service clerk at the Tilsonburg branch of Oxford County Library. Today's story time is about libraries and reading. Before I start the book, we're gonna sing a song and I'd love for you to join me. It's a familiar tune, so I'm sure you can sing along, okay? If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. Okay, let's begin. This is called A Library Book for Bear. It's by Bonnie Becker and illustrated by Katie McDonald Denton. It was published in 2014 by Candlewick Press. So if you want to find this one in the library, that's what it looks like. All right. A Library Book for Bear. Bear had never been to the library. He had seven very nice books at home. Three about kings and queens, three about honeybees, and one about pickles. Bear was quite sure he had all the books he would ever need. One morning, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his door. When he opened the door, there was Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. We are off, exclaimed Mouse with a happy wag of his whiskers. Bear frowned. He had agreed to go with Mouse to the library. 
but now he was quite certain it was a dreadful mistake. Completely unnecessary, Bear announced. I have all the books I need right here. Oh, there are many delightful books in the library, Mouse assured him. <laughs> Bear grumbled, but he had promised. So he buckled up his red roller skates and stepped outside, grabbing a basket for the books. Bear skated and Mouse rode in the basket to the library, the wind rippling nicely through their fur. But when they got to the library, Bear didn't like how big it looked. There are far too many books in there, he protested. Most excessive. Oh no, it's quite exciting, Mouse said, leading Bear through the tall doors. In the library were more books than Bear had ever thought there could be. He quickly found a tucked away corner, but even here there were lots and lots of books. Humph, terribly extravagant. Bear's voice was a little loud. I shall find you the perfect one, Mouse said quietly in his library voice. One about pickles, commanded Bear. After all, he only had one of those. But Mouse had whisked away. Mouse came back with a thick green book. Bear opened it. Rocket ships? Ridiculous! Bear's voice was getting louder. A good book about pickles is all I require. Remember, quiet in the library, murmured Mouse as he scurried off. He soon returned with a tall yellow book. I am not interested in wooden canoes. Bear's voice was even louder. Quiet voices in the library, Mouse reminded him. My voice is always quiet, Bear shouted. I will find my own book. I can assure you that pickles are quite interesting. Mouse didn't look so sure, but Bear quickly spotted a blue book with a pickle on the spine, and Mouse sprang up the shelf to get it for him. There's the book with the pickle. Inside were pictures of pickles. The pickles had little fairy wings. They were dancing with petunias. No dancing pickles, Bear roared. Shh, said a voice. Bear peeked around a bookshelf. There sat a librarian with a cluster of youngsters gathered around her. The librarian smiled, but a mother squirrel squished an angry finger against her lips, and an old raccoon said sternly, quiet in the library. Bear turned back with a huffy sniff. I know when I'm not wanted, he told Mouse. I want to go home. Surely at least one book, Mouse began. But Bear caught him off. I have all the books I need. He looked quite certain. Then we're off, said Mouse, but his whiskers didn't wag this time. Bear stood stock still. He was listening carefully to a voice on the other side of the bookshelf. So the very brave Bear began to inch his way toward the treasure chest, the voice was saying. I'm ready, began Mouse. Shh, exclaimed Bear. It's just getting to the good part. But you said... Quiet voices in the library, Bear bellowed. This time, the librarian got up and looked around the bookshelf at Bear. Bear stood very still and quiet, as if he'd been still and quiet all along. Would you like to join story time, the librarian asked. Bear glanced at Mouse. We'd love to have you, said the librarian. Bear and Mouse scooted around the shelf and found two empty chairs. The librarian began to read again. Bear lifted the lid to the treasure chest and inside the librarian paused. Mouse and Bear strained forward. Inside, she said, was a mound of pickle slices and each shining slice was made of diamonds and gold. And everyone shouted, hooray for the very brave Bear. And then she said, the end. Bear stared dreamily into space for a moment. Then he looked over at Mouse and announced, as I said, Pickles are most interesting. Indeed, said Mouse. Later, Mouse rode in the basket with seven new books. There were two about wooden canoes, two about rocket ships, two about teapots, and one called The Very Brave Bear and the Treasure of Pickle Island, which Bear read to Mouse that very same day. The end. Thanks for joining me today. Bye. 
Thanks, Jenna, for that great story. We're gonna sing one more song, and this song is one of my favorites to sing to children because it helps with phonological awareness, or the idea that words are made up of sounds. And this one is called Gur with the Big Brown Bear. So first we're gonna imagine we're a big brown bear. We have our claws out, and what sound does a bear make? A big scary bear, Gur. Can you practice your grr sound for me? Grr. And the song goes like this. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. And we all went grr, grr, grr. But we know bears go huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug. We know bears go Huggy, huggy, hug, they don't go grr, grr, grr. Next, we're gonna do a turtle. Can you make an S sound for me? S what sound does S make? It goes S, S for snake, S for slow, and our turtle is gonna go slow. So we're gonna make a turtle by putting making a fist and then putting our hand over top so it's like his shell. You make a turtle with me. Slow, slow went the little green turtle one day. Slow, slow went the little green turtle. Slow, slow went the little green turtle one day. And we all went slow, slow, slow. But we know turtles go cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude. We know turtles go cowabunga dude. They don't go slow, slow, slow. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's sing our goodbye song. So again, do you remember the sign for friends? We're gonna take one finger, two fingers, and give them a hug, and we're gonna say goodbye, bye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. We hope you'll join us next time. Have a great, take your child to the library day. Bye.